Hi there, I'm back. And I remember if I said it, but if I did not, Owenisms 12, thank you for that follow 15 minutes ago, and the Pickle of Doom 12, thank you for that follow as well. Shield Rune DC'd. Well, that, that sucks. <laughs> um, you kind of need all three runes if you're going to be doing Oryx 3. All right, so I don't even remember where I was last time. My guess would be at the bottom of the slide, but uh, I've been trying different approach to the slide area and it seemed to work okay oh. yeah so this is <laughs> so instead of launching myself off of the umbrella i just push myself up onto the umbrella and then i use the wheelbarrow to get up to the rake. It seems to work a little better. Wow, I wish I had better cable management. Um, anyway, <laughs> so that seems to be working better um, than what I was doing, which uh, often resulted in very bad falls. What is this? This is uh, classified as a rage game. It is called Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. And it is very uh, difficult. Controls are very strange. Um, the whole thing is weird. <laughs> oh, crud. I forgot. I forgot. To update. No, I don't want to do that. Stop that. Oh, well, I clicked the wrong thing. Um, for those of you who are seeing an ad, I'm sorry. For those of you not seeing an ad, some of you are seeing an ad. So I clicked the wrong button. Um, <laughs> but I was doing <laughs> I was doing this update. So oh, there, I have updated my stream info, so it doesn't say I'm playing Realm of the Mad God anymore. <laughs> Imagine seeing an ad right now, yes. <laughs> Sorry about that, I was updating my... Uh, I had forgotten to update my, my game. Well, now it looks weird. It's saying that I'm playing Getting Over It. It updated my title, but it's claiming this is an MMORPG. If I were seeing an ad, would I hear your apology about it? No, you wouldn't. Uh, anyway. Uh, it, the ad is over, so if I apologize now, you would. Um, yeah, it didn't change the tags. At least on my screen, it didn't change the tags. So yes, this is a, a super difficult game and it's designed in such a way that if you make mistakes, and mistakes are incredibly easy to make, if you make mistakes, you pay for it uh, very badly. Um, so from here, we are actually fairly high up off the ground. <laughs> and if we were to fall, we could easily fall all the way back to the ground, lose all of our progress, or almost all of our progress. One time I was watching Rocket League Esports, and after it was over, they raided someone, and he just put like 30 ads. <laughs> wow. The physics is very questionable. Um, there is uh, a, a video about the physics of this game. Uh, in which they prove that uh, due to leverage issues, like the way he's holding this hammer and the way he's using this hammer, that he must have incredible superhuman strength to be able to do 
what he can do. My theory is that he is a created being, a magically created being who sprung out of this cauldron. That he is not at all, that he looks human, but he is not at all human, as a matter of fact. You mean to say you can't propel yourself in a cauldron using only a hammer? <laughs> Remember that time when Kevin showed Bob? Yes. Why do you have such hard, a hard time uh, spelling boob? <laughs> Saved the moment. Yes, there are, there are, there's more than one clip of that. I don't know about you guys, but I can do all the things he, he's doing. Guess I'm just built different. <laughs> really, Parkin? <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Boob. Can't even dodge Celestial. Food. Okay, thank you, Nidia. <laughs> all right. We'll, we'll try that again. Uh, oh! Now, see, as I was saying, if I were to have bounced off of this concrete barrier and then gone past it, I would end up on the ground way, way down below me. That's what I mean by, I mean, it just punishes you. Uh, it can punish you very severely for mistakes. Um, okay, so once again... I almost fell past the concrete barrier, and that is a bad thing. It's a thing you do not want to have happen to you. It looks like he must have massive counterweights in that cauldron that automatically adjust to keep him upright. Um, well, we do know there is water in there, like an infinite supply of water, because it keeps sloshing out of the cauldron. Well, it looks like water. I mean, we don't. I haven't done a chemical analysis. But it looks like, oh my goodness, it looks like he's, yeah, you, you could have see, could see it just there. It looks like he's got water, and no matter how many times he, you know, moves around and, and it sloshes out, it just keeps coming out. So, um, that that's another indication to me that this is all magical. See, that's when you got to stick your hammer out to the side when falling. The hole is too small if you have your hammer out sideways. <laughs> yes. What if it's not water and it's what? Is urine? I don't know. <laughs> An infinite counterweight might cause problems. Infinite weights cause problems. Yes. Do not, do not try to think of it as an infinite weight of any sort. There. See, that's what I want to do. I want to flip myself from that wheelbarrow up to here. And then not do that. Uh, because I fall down again. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Whee. There we go. And uh, for those of you who haven't watched me play this game before, I am making these weird facial expressions and doing strange things with my tongue and moving my body around. None of those are conscious. I'm not doing those on purpose. That's just how my brain works. There's something wrong with me. I'm sure a neurologist could tell me what it is. You going to do furniture skip now? I am not. Also, that's a very strong rate. It is It is a Yosemite, a long-handled Yosemite hammer. Uh, at least according to the game developer. Oh, the rake that's up there. This rake up there yes that is a very strong plastic rake all right just just leverage yourself up dude no need to fly around all right yes those tines on the rake do not bend when you are hanging off of them so yes it is a very strong oh come on uh, now leverage yourself up here nice and easy and then fling yourself up off this wheelbarrow, this tiny little thing here. Oh, well, at least I didn't fall down to the concrete barrier. Kevin, I have one word for you. Plastics. Have you even watched that movie?
Good luck. Thanks for the stream. See ya. Oh, speaking of Celestial, going into O3, so I'll be taking my leave early. All right. Well, have fun with uh, O3. Same stress. I'm also going to O3 soon. Realm is just closing now, though, so I have a bit. I have watched that movie. You have. You watched The Graduate, huh? So yes, he can do all sorts of things with this hammer that you're, you would, you know, not be able to do if you were a human being. Uh, yeah, the, I think that's, you know, the Game Theorist, I think is the, the name of the channel, the YouTube channel that did a video on the physics of this and how... Uh, impossible it really is okay now the idea is to fling myself up from the rake to the slide and not do this that was not what the idea was oh stop doing that stop falling there Yeah, I think I actually watched The Graduate um, when it first came out. That was a very long time ago. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can actually succeed. I'm not sure if I quote from any movies that I haven't seen. Oh, oh please, I keep bumping on something and it propels me over to here anyway so yes the the way he moves himself around is very weird and the way the controls work with with the hammer is very weird there's a lot of recoil involved <laughs> that you wouldn't expect my children however know that you're supposed to say mr anderson in a funny voice and have explained that they know that, but they don't know why. Ah. See, now this was a, a jump. To get up to the rake was a jump that I was having a hard time with before. And now it doesn't seem that hard, now that I'm doing it in a different way. But now I'm having a problem getting from the rake to the slide, which I didn't used to have a problem with. Oh, please. I just keep bumping on something and flying way the heck back. So I think it must be that when I was having a tr pr trouble getting on the rake, the times I did, I must have been on it differently. <laughs> if you press Control and R, it will zoom in. Uh, thank you for that wonderful bit of information. Um... There have been at least 20 trolls before you. I played this a lot on on stream. 20 trolls before you that have suggested to control R, um, though they have at least three different uh, reasons that I should be using it. Uh, I think zoom in has been one of them, yes. Uh, adjusting friction was another. Mr. Anderson is related to unrelated to Mrs. Anderson. I have just really realized. Yeah, the necessary control R suggestion. It's not necessary, no. It hasn't happened every single time I've played the game. Oh, I'm confused. Robinson, not Anderson. Ah! <laughs> yes. Yes, her name is Mrs. Robinson. I think you're trying to seduce me, Mrs. Robinson, is one of the more famous lines from that movie. um normally it's zoom out not in yeah i i think that's right i think it i think they have said zoom but most of them have been zoom out oh wow that was me trying to get the hammer in the right position and utterly failing <laughs> and pushing myself off of the structure you know i now know why uh people develop the uh slide skip because it's, oh that was bad i didn't mean to do that at all uh because this slide area is just kind of frustrating um 
Oh, that's okay. That that's fine. I don't mind being here. <laughs> anyway, so yes, you are very much not the first person to suggest Control R for something. Okay, and we fry ourselves up here. The thing is, I have so many failures in this game that just like exiting or reloading or whatever, it, it's nothing to me. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, I mean, right here, I could screw up and end up back on the ground very easily. Just trying to figure out where it is on this rake that I need to put the hammer to best get up on that slide because it seems like everything I've been doing so far has failed. Uh, yeah, I'm not even, I didn't even get close to the, uh, the slide that time. Better by far that you should forget and smile than you should remember and be sad. Christina Rossetti. Well, I didn't end up on the ground. <laughs> yes, and there was Benefati with his helpful quotes. None of which are actually helpful. And, and by now, the only part of this that I have a lot of trouble with, I still have quite a bit of trouble with, with the Devil's Chimney, um, so we're going to get back and see the, the red girder again soon. <laughs> Everybody loves the red girder, I'm sure. I would like to not be pointing that way, please. Why do you want to tip that way? Stop tipping that way. Okay, whatever. It, it's not the way that I would think that physics would work, but whatever. All right. See, this part was easy. <laughs> I say that now, after, after I spent an enormous amount of time to get up to here the very first time. <laughs> Nothing here is the way I think physics would work. Yes. Damn, I just got frustrated for you. You fell and yelled fuck out loud. Uh, I apologize, but this is an adult stream, so I feel that it's okay for me to swear. <laughs> they must have some great glue to keep that beam on that rock. Yes, I'm not sure how it's fastened on. Um... So, anyway, all of that that I just did to get up to here is the easy part. But if you'd watched me the, you know, earlier, you know, weeks ago when I first started this game, that was all incredibly difficult. This is the hard part for me still. Oh, he yelled. Oh, okay. I didn't yell. Double-sided 3M tape, obviously. Of course. My father used to work for 3M. Well, when he was alive, he worked for 3M. Then he retired early. But yes, he worked for 3M for many years. We had a lot of 3M tape in the house. Um, so yeah, this getting onto the rock isn't the hard part. Uh, the hard part is propelling myself up, grabbing that first light, using that first light to propel myself to, up to grab that second light, and then the really, really hard part is using the light to propel myself up on the lighter side, the whiter side, um, and land on top of it so that I can propel myself across and onto the, the uh, darker stone. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I completely, yes, she. Nidia, you yelled fuck, not me. All right. I thought maybe I did it without thinking. Or that the guy in the cauldron did. <laughs> anyway, so that is very hard to do. Um, I, I, I succeeded at it after many, 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 many times. Oof! Uh, about 50% of the time. That that I just did is also very, very hard to do. The next part, however, you notice how there's like a little pointy area at the very top of this rock. You have to not launch yourself over it, because if you do, you'll land on the ground. <laughs> so we've already had two people uh, tell me to do Control R. Are, are we going to get a third one? Oh, Pepe Popo 694271. Thank you for that follow. I don't remember if I said thank you to the Pickle of Doom 12 for the follow. Anyway, so this next part. Not propelling myself so hard I fly over the, the top of the rock, but instead just sort of grip it and then lower myself ever so gently onto the peak. And I have to be pointing in the right direction. I have to be pointing in the direction of the darker rock so that I can then propel myself. Okay, so that's not quite what I want, but it will probably work. Yeah, so, so I need to do, what I need to do is lower myself very gently down onto this peak. I don't want to do a lot of sliding around. Oh, because that happens. Uh, all right. Um, oh. Okay, so that's a better hammer placement. You can see that this is... Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Hello, no. Or if you do fling over it, then you can hold on to the edge and then fling. Yeah, if I do fling myself over it, there is a chance to... There's like a triangular outcropping up there that you can possibly grab. Or you can maybe grab the peak. But I'm usually flying very high. <laughs> I've used way too much energy to get, you know, up there and uh, have no chance to grab anything so anyway that is that is not a bad failure falling back down to the bottom of the chimney um, much better failure than uh, flying over it and landing on the ground which has happened many times to me so hey i did it two times in a row that's unusual i don't usually get this jump two times in a row Oh, well, I didn't get that one. <laughs> and I did a weird body movement, too, so. There we go. Oh, stop it. Ugh. Flailing around like that. Oh, no. I mean, he does look muscular, but there's no way he could be doing the things that he does with this hammer. <laughs> All right, now, get up on the rock, yes. Then do a push jump, a pogo jump, to get up to the first light. Very good. Now, bring yourself up to the next light. Yes. Very good. Now, <laughs> the hard part. Well, not with that attitude. Yes, you're always criticizing my attitude, Nidia. Um, see, that is that that is a save. <laughs> I almost flew over, but managed to save myself. Now my only problem is I'm pointing in the wrong direction, so if I were to propel myself, I'd probably go not where I want to go. So I'm going to adjust, hopefully very small adjustment. There we go. Oh, my goodness. So that was all the really hard stuff. This next jump isn't that hard. Uh, I have failed it. I have failed it multiple times because I failed everything in this game multiple times. <laughs> but that was not that hard. 
And in fact, this next structure area isn't that hard, uh, but there's a lot of, of parts before you can really rest. Um, so you have to kind of get a bunch of things right in a row before you get up on top of this structure. And it's possible that you'll bump on something on this structure hard enough that you will fly back and go down the chimney again. <laughs> I've had that happen. It makes a difference, Kevy Poo. Kevy Poo. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, that's not quite where I want the hammer, but oh. Uh, all right, back to the structure. I, I really want a better purchase on that plant hanger thing when I get up there. I didn't quite make it high enough on this this first jump to get onto the plant hanger. There, that's oh, see, there's a lot of this like recoil or rebound that the hammer does that you don't want it to do. Like a lot of that movement wasn't me doing anything; it was just the hammer recoiling. Oh. Anyway. This really isn't that hard. And most of the time, the failure is just you fall back down to this sort of ledge area here. So it isn't nearly as scary as like the devil's chimney was, where you can fall all the way back to the ground. Um, I did try, I think I tried a different approach where I... No, come on, get up on top of here. Where I got up on top of here, I don't remember if I got it to work right. There we go. And then I did a push jump from here. I would think that the problem would be I'd, I'd bump into the concrete that's jutting out right there. Yeah, that's a problem. You can't, <laughs> you don't want to do that. Um... Maybe if, yeah, the, the mouse movements I'm doing, in case you're wondering, most of them are very small mouse movements to get this to do all sorts of weird things. You can rest on that edge, the metal thing, I think. Yes, the, uh, the uh, plant hanger, you can rest there if you don't accidentally fling yourself off. There. Like that. Yes, you can do that. Um... You really can't rest on those those concrete outcroppings though. So if you're if you're up to those areas, you uh, you can't just sort of hang out there. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is kind of a problem. All right, there, and you can rest on this railing. Um, so yeah, it's it, all together. It's not that hard. That particular structure area. Ta-ta for now. All right. See you later, document class article. There. That's where I like to be. I'm not really good at this girder. I'm kind of very slow. And it took me forever to figure out the mouse movements to actually do this. I've seen people, I keep saying it, I've seen people fly up this girder, basically. I mean, they just move. They're up the whole girder area in, in like a second or something. And here I am doing these little tiny movements because I want to get... At, you know, towards the end of the girder, but I don't want to, you know, lose the girder and then fall. Okay, so we are getting back close to where we were before we had our great fall. Uh, what am I, wedged? You made it! I did make it, actually. That was a lot fast. <laughs> yeah, that particular amount of time it took to get from uh, down just past the pipe up to here uh, was 
much, much faster um, than the first <laughs> time I got up to here. Wow, it took so long. So many tries. Ah, and for those who wonder, yes, I have tried the slide skip, and I haven't been able to master it. <laughs> Your man looks out of breath? I don't know. Look how he looks at that hammer, though. <laughs> at times, I think he's in love with the hammer. <laughs> All right, going to do this again. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do again. Fly backwards, no. Oh, he says. I think that some or all of the vocalizations are actually Bennett Foddy. There's a pair of dentures at the top of the slide the girl is on. Hmm? I look at some of my toys like that. Oh, okay. How did he even get into that uh, bucket thing in the first place? My theory is that he is a magically created being, and he was grown in this cauldron. So he didn't get into it so much as grow out of it. That's my theory. Noob56567, five, six, five, six, thank you very much for that follow. Seven minutes ago. Oh! I didn't get my hammer around fast enough. And the weird thing is, the hard part used to be, the way I was doing it before, I would get up to here, and then I would fling myself up and try to grab the rake. And so many times, I wouldn't be able to grab the rake, and instead I would push off the rake, and hilarity ensued. So I've been trying this method instead, where I, I get up on top of the umbrella... Ooh, Zekursus is playing <laughs> Realm of the Mad God Exalt on Steam for some reason. And then fling myself from the wheelbarrow up to the rake. But I can't seem to get from the rake anymore up to the slide. And he just went shopping for a hammer? I don't know how he would have acquired the hammer. <laughs> Finished the O3. Boring as always. Okay. Well... I'm not sure how they would make it interesting for you. <laughs> All right. See, that was the hard jump for me before, to actually get up onto the rake. And, oh, finally, I made it up onto the slide. Wow, that took a lot of attempts compared to normal. So I'm not sure what dentures you're talking about. Um, I thought that was a boy up there and I don't really have no need to go check what's up on top of that slide <laughs> it's not part of the main path as far as I know just an RNG fest after Celestial and before that it's just a joke I mean it's not really hard just takes long <laughs> for solo it just might RNG oh it's just RNG bullshit okay um uh, so, now the goal is to push myself off of this beach ball and land on or grab the boxes. Yes, like that. So I grabbed the boxes and then landed on them. And I swear, I'm hearing... Very, very faintly, I'm hearing children playing. Timing sequences of two to five does not mean it's not RNG. You can god onto the stick, and then you found, you found in there some dentures. Okay. Grab. Okay. I was wondering. God? What? It's not RNG if you make it or no. It's if you're bad or not. Okay. So this is a a part that I have not mastered yet at all. Um, I 
I obviously, obviously haven't made getting onto the slide, I haven't mastered that because it completely changed my whole way of doing it recently. Um, but this, where I hit the box and then move my hammer back out again to grab, hopefully, the pile of boxes that's over there. Um, I am, I, I don't have this down yet. Oh! Something filled up my heart with nothing. Someone told me not to cry. Now that I'm older, my heart's colder. I can see that it's a lie. Anyway, so yes, as you can see, I have not mastered that part yet. <laughs> um, I've done it. I have gotten onto that second pile of boxes a number of times. Uh, I just, I just, it's very uh, hit or miss, with a lot of misses and very few hits. <laughs> just go with the gut. Uh, never mind. Yeah. Oh, please. Uh. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. Um, that's actually about a half an hour. Uh, and that is what I, I had promised. So I am going to quit it here.